Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you what we've got this week for our midweek top up shop. It's not meal planning or anything like that. It's literally like what we need to keep us going till the end of the week. If we're missing a meal, if we've got no afters, if we've got no fruit, things like that. So let's get going. So I'm gonna start this side and we have completely run out of nappies, but I'm not too happy because Aldi have changed their packaging. So we've got this ultra dry thing that I've never seen on the front before. And also the packets are now half the size. So we used to get like 70 nappies. Um, for four pounds something now we're getting 36 for two pound 90 I think so we're definitely losing out on money there um, but we'll see if they how they go and if they're the same things I've got a pack for upstairs and a pack for downstairs and yeah they should last us until next week and if not we might be looking for the Lidl's ones which will be a bit strange we've then gone for some Rice Krispies these are mine really the kids don't eat them anymore it just keeps me going <laughs> something for me to nibble on um, and then we've got Bailey's Denty 6 it's actually pet week this week so they've got the beds they've got the food they've got the storage containers the toys everything that you need for a pet um, but we've got it all so we just needed some Denty sticks um, then we needed a meal for tonight so we've gone for some lamb shanks with curly fries and onion rings and then when we have a Domino's Ash likes to buy the kickers but I saw these and thought they were pretty much the same thing hot and spicy they were £1.20 I think um, I'm not really sure how many you get in there um, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be like the same thing so I'm going to stick them in the freezer and when we do get a KFC not KFC, Domino's then we've got chicken kickers <laughs> um then we've got this for tomorrow night which is our favorite chinese chicken stir fry everybody puts in the comments that they love it honestly if you haven't tried it make sure you do because it's so tasty just put it with rice and then you've got a meal for two then we've got some honeycomb ice cream never seen this before i've seen the blue one um, and i've never tried it but it's made in scotland and we're going to see how that one goes now that the weather's getting hotter the kids need more ice creams we've got some chocolate buttons they did not notice the difference at all last week so they're a little treat for after school after dinner sorry uh, one day this week we've got our drinks for the weekend these orchard ciders are delicious if you like cider make sure you try them they're 85p each and one of them will do both of us they're lush i tried this a while ago and i've recently run out so i'm going to go back into my rum I just like that with Coke on the weekend. It's delicious. It's £10 for 70 silliliters. So I don't know if it's good, don't know if it's bad, but I, I like it. <laughs> We've then gone for an orange juice. The kids have been down in this lately. Mostly me, but <laughs> I'm blaming the kids. Um, but we just love the orange juice. This one tastes like Tropicana as well. We've gone for a green milk. We've got some groovy biscuits, some safari snacks, some fig rolls, and some Easter lollipops. These are all to get Ella um, and Miles through um, after dinner treats. These, we've had Halloween ones, we've had Christmas ones, and she's only just run out. So I'm so happy that we've got the Easter ones to get her through because she absolutely loves having a little pop after her dinner. Then I've gone for a wild berry this time. I'm pretty sure I've had one in the past, but I can't remember it at all if I liked it or not. So one of them goes in the kitchen and then the other one goes in the um, dining room. We've got a vanilla as well. Obviously it could not go without these. They're my weekend treat. I've then gone for a pulled pork chicken wrap for today. It's got coleslaw in, so I'll see how that goes. And my favorite chicken and bacon sweet corn for tomorrow. We've got our butter to go in the fridge and one for the freezer. We've got a quiche. Ella has decided that she likes quiche now. So I'm going to cook this up and I'll have it and Ella will have it and we'll have some leftovers. Um, crumpets. Delicious for breakfast. Also, try them with a bit of Nutella because they taste beautiful. Kids chocolate brioches. They love them for um, before school and things like that. And then we needed some fruit. As you can see, our fruit bowl is completely empty. So I've gone for some apples and some bananas. So it's a bit more expensive compared to a normal top-up shop, but it did include the um, Bacardi. I'm going to call it Bacardi. It's not Bacardi, but 
but you know what I mean. So that was £10. So it would have been £46 for all of that. And that's pretty good. That's going to last us until probably... Um, I'm going to say the weekend, but it's going to be longer than the weekend because now we've got milk and stuff to keep us going. You know what I mean. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to go get on to putting all this away and getting our washing finished because I was in one of them moods. I kind of was getting it done and then I was like, nah, I'll just do the rest tomorrow. It's fine. So we're going to do that today and I'll see you all again soon. Please make sure you subscribe down below. It really, really, really means a lot to me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.